Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the quick real estate tip for the day. Today, I'd like to talk about a deed in lieu of foreclosure. Yes, that is a legal term, so a quick disclaimer. I am not an attorney. What I'm attempting to do here is explain my understanding of a legal term. If you have legal questions, I highly encourage you to seek the advice of a competent professional. Okay, having gotten that out of the way, a deed in lieu of foreclosure is a way to speed up the foreclosure process. What it entails is the owner of the property, the, the one that uh, is obligated to pay you know, the mortgage payment who has fallen behind, instead of going through the whole process where they have an auction um, and then attempt to recover, the, the lender attempts to recover you know, the, the amount owed, in a deed in lieu of foreclosure, the borrower just simply signs over the deed and they don't go through with the rest of the foreclosure. This can happen at any time it makes sense for that borrower, but where it happens the most is in an investing scenario. When you're borrowing from either a private lender or hard money lender, usually they're gonna write into the terms of that loan document their ability to foreclose with the deed in lieu of foreclosure. And where that can impact you more than you, you may be aware of you know, until it actually happens, is you're usually gonna put some money into the deal. They're gonna require you to put a certain percentage down. And let's say for you know, quick math, let's say you put $100,000 down on a $300,000 property. You run into some financial problems and fall behind on your payments. Well, that lender then can foreclose on you. And if they have the ability to do the lead in, I'm sorry, deed in lieu of foreclosure, then they're able to take the property to satisfy the debt. Well, in that scenario, you would have lost that $100,000 you put into the deal because they're not auctioning off the house to recover what is owed. They're just simply taking the entire asset. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. If you had additional questions on anything related to real estate, please don't hesitate to reach out. Shoot me a text or an email or give me a call directly. I'm here to help.